Can you tell me what's going on here? <laughs> Honestly. Do you have any idea what's going on here? Do you have any idea? You're being interrogated. Did you do that? Okay, I've done first load of dishes. I just bought these. I bought two sugar and two flour. I think I'm gonna buy more flours. Maybe even take, well, I had to take one of the sugars back because it had a chip lid. Uh, these were only a couple dollars a piece and plus I got 15% off because Big Lots is having a 15% off of your home decor stuff because they're, um, you know, because of COVID and everybody's staying in and they want to decorate their house and have it pretty because they're in the house all day. So, um, I have to finish washing the dishes. Hey there. Hey there. Uh, he has to come open my lid because my hands can't open certain things. I'm going to make two batches of Kool-Aid and four batches in there of different flavored Kool-Aid so I can have an assortment of things to drink. I make it with stevia so that I can have as much as I want and I still get my fluids because I don't like drinking water. Is so this that's a pop off, not a twist. I know. I couldn't get it. It looks like a twist. Yeah. This it's is a just dollar a cheap tree item. One. Yeah. For a cent. I didn't want to pay three or four dollars for it. I want to pay a dollar. No, yeah. I really miss that. Yeah. I miss the uh the Arab store in Israel where you no. could get home stuff? What? Twisting things open, working with hands. Oh, I got plenty of stuff for you to open. Where? <laughs> I'll show you later. I got plenty of stuff to put away now. I put a little bit away, but I, I just don't have the space for it. We need to have another pantry or something or figure out our space that we already have. Yeah, we miscalculated. Yeah, we did. Going to shopping yesterday was said that we don't have a freezer yet. So we're not going not gonna, not gonna to buy for a freezer. We're going to buy for just whatever. We're getting a freezer in another month. It was supposed to be here a month and a half ago. Yeah. But COVID. COVID. Yep. All right, I have to clean this out. But these are papers that I want to save because... Raphael had really nice handwriting and he was telling a story and he wrote like a comic strip. It was pretty cool. And of course I want to save my Christmas cards. I just threw everything back in here. Abigail painted all of these paintings. I thought they were beautiful. You know, just stuff like that I want to save, but it's in here badly. All oh, on his report card, you know, pretty cards that we got. Need to clean this off. I don't know what I'm going to do to organize this but I organized all my sauces relish mayonnaise all of the sauces that I have this is all the cream sauces like ranch feta herb and this is all my like oil sauces with spices and this is my weird things that I don't know what it goes with maybe spinach creamy strawberry made with real fruit creamy blueberry basil so, you know, that's a little weird. I don't know what to put with it, but I thought we would try it because we're trying new things. Got Greek here. This was 25 cents. Okay, that's crazy. Four for a dollar for this. And I thought I could uh, flavor up some chicken with that so it wouldn't be boring or maybe even some fish. You know, lemon garlic, chosen foods. I'm sure that was very expensive. Dressing and marinade. Zero sugar. You know, so I have all this. Raphael's probably favorite condiment is relish. Got a bunch of that. And I wanted to try this. These were half off of 69 cents. Golden's Bold Yellow Mustard. We want to try this. I think it's going to be spicy. If so, we'll probably have to put it on some chicken or something. So, yeah, they got that all done. Okay, for some reason, I'm like dying here. It's 79 degrees, and I've gotten sick several times. I had to lay down. Uh, 72 is what we, you know, we don't want it at 72, but obviously we don't want it at 79. So I'm going to put the vegetables away now. Now we've got the ham in the oven. That's why I got all my <laughs> pans here because I don't have anywhere to actually store them. I need to put all of the, um, vegetables away because they still are not put away and the pudding cups and pickles. I have all my garbage here to throw away because I'd rather throw it away outside than inside and waste a bag. Abigail's going to show you how she can walk. Walk, Abigail. Ah! Good job. Good job, Abigail. You have to be very careful not to fall, okay? Let's see it again. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yay. Good job. Yeah. Hi, kitty. So I turned the camera on and here she is. 
All right, I got this halfway workable. I got this pretty well cleaned up. I tried to pop the rest of this corn, but instead it just kind of burnt, so I'm gonna throw that away and wash the pan. And mm, I don't smell the ham yet, so I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. I'm gonna put the sauce on it right now. Brown sugar glaze. You know what it smells like in here? It kind of smells like our last... Thanksgiving? Yes. Yeah. That's because it has honey glazed ham, but the honey is br brown sugar. Brown sugar glazed ham. Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah. That smells good. Oh, it's like the oh, sweet potato yeah. smell. I thought you were going to bring it over It's not all the way drizzle, but don't worry, it'll get wet. When mm. we dig into it. And Ooh. I got a salad that looks good. and some grapes. That's one thing I've been saying that we were missing is the, the food smell in the house. Oh, and I'm cooking corn. Yeah, the food smell in the house. Uh, we'll wait on this for a week or so. This is a lot of food. I got a big ham. It was on sale uh, at Walmart a long, well, about a month ago when the last time I went to grocery shopping. Um, I'm gonna make a submarine sandwich later on for the fridge and then everybody can be eating on that. And I have to fill my jars when they're dry with my flour and my sugar. I got different types of sugar, so. Uh, Hadar's, Hadar's job in the kitchen is to put up the dishes, so um, I depend on him to do that. And then- Once they're dry. It's not blocking me from doing the dishes, and it's really helped me out. It's made a big difference in like, Ugh, because I don't want to put the dishes away. Never. But I always want to wash the dishes, so that helps me a lot. Yeah, so we'll eat. I'm going to let this rest for a while, and we'll eat. Um, I probably should have cut... Ooh, ooh. That's going to be crunchy. <laughs> I probably should have let it, um, like, thinner glaze or whatever, but it, it had a bunch of glaze with it, so I just decided to use all of it. And then we got some carrots in there too. It's gonna be good. This is for Abigail. They did prescribe her oxycodone and no, I didn't fill it and no, I'm not going to. Uh, we do keep stuff like this in our medical records though because we'll never fill this. It's unnecessary. I have had a lot of people complain to me that I, did. why didn't you do that? Why did? Because it's unnecessary. Like my mom has broken herself we've all had surgery we know the proper amount of uh, pain medicine for these things you know and we both said that that that's completely unnecessary to have that so we did get a bill from them and it's really not that bad our insurance is not very good uh, not as good as Israel Israel we probably would have paid $200 for that visit maybe uh, we did have platinum insurance, which is the best. Uh, you do have to pay money there, but it's very little. We have universal health care there. I don't know why people are so against universal health care here when the wait times in a lot of states for a lot of services is really long. Um, and I, I think that, well, yeah, I'm not sure why people don't want that but if you got prescriptions your prescriptions would be like three dollars you know uh for everybody um regardless of income and i just think that's great everybody would have access to health care and not have to literally take out a loan to pay a bill when <laughs> when you're not fully insured for everything. We, thankfully, we did have um, accident insurance. So it did, like, I don't know if it would pay for a ambulance ride, but I don't think at this time I would have wanted to ever go on an ambulance because people are sick right now and just going to the hospital in itself was pretty much one of the worst things 
ever right now. We we really, I called the woman at the hospital. She was my last person that I talked to. And then she talked to me at the hospital. She's like, were you the one that called? I was like, yeah. She said, I recommend that she sleeps on it. And if, you know, she can't walk in the morning, come to the ER. And I was like, okay. But then we put her on the floor to play with some blocks a little while after that. And she just cried. She's like, I, I can't walk. Um, and that was when we 100% knew that there was something really wrong. But it would, people were like, why didn't you take her to the hospital immediately? Guys, this girl falls a lot. And she does know, she doesn't know about danger. And to take her to the hospital for every little time that she cries would be absolutely insane. Um, she falls a lot. She cries a lot. So we had to make sure, especially right now, when it's like dangerous to go to the hospital. We wanted to make fully sure that there was definitely gonna be a need for it and not clog the hospital system, which should only be used for injury, like emergencies. Um, it was an emergency though, and we did find that out. When I looked at the x-ray, it was like very obvious that it was broken. You know, two buns, next to each other they both had like a severe like um uh, not severe but like a a definite uh very obvious break and it was off to the side a little bit just a little bit and you know he straightened it up and that's basically what hurt her was when he straightened it up and she just she let him have it she was like why are you doing this to me and everybody's like <laughs> you know it was really sad what she was saying to the doctor when he was doing that um but yeah excellent excellent care very happy with the care that she that she got there and i did send in the uh survey that they gave me how was your treatment there was one thing that bothered me a little bit uh, probably a lot of it uh, a woman was not wearing a mask and she was the only one that was not wearing a mask and she was not wearing gloves and she is a registered nurse and her face was like this far away from Abigail's and Abigail was actually spitting in her face when she was crying not like intentionally spitting but she was like poo -hoo, poo -hoo, you know and uh, spitting in her face so if she's doing Abigail like that she probably did and all the other kids like that too. It was a pediatric hospital, so that that distressed me a little bit. Um, I was just hoping that she didn't come into contact with any COVID patients. She did say, um, I was like, is there COVID up in here? You know, trying to give her a hint, like back up off of my kid's face, you know? But I didn't want to be super dramatic about it. Like, whoa, you're not wearing a mask. Get away from my kid. <laughs> and that's a really tough situation. I don't want to confront a uh, medical staff hey why are you why is your face like right here in front of my kid's face when we're supposed to be social distancing and everybody even the, like the orderlies and stuff that aren't even near people they're just walking around the hospital they were wearing masks and gloves and I I think that everybody should be required to wear that every medical person that deals with people because you know you go from one person to the next. So anyway, I just wanted to explain why we didn't get her narcotic medicine filled out at the doctor. And she was just fine with like, I think we got, I think it's baby, not aspirin, but Tylenol. It's like the generic Tylenol from Walmart. And she was just fine with that. We had a little baby bottle of, um, it was like baby ibuprofen and everybody's like don't take that it makes your covid worse this is not the walking dead i just want to say not everybody has covid so <laughs> if giving my kid ibuprofen was perfectly okay and they recommended that had i not had i been told that she was getting fentanyl she got it in a squeeze up her nose with it, it was like a whole tube of liquid a squeeze up her nose had i been told that i would say absolutely not absolutely not when i'm in the hospital i make sure to tell them i am allergic to narcotics because i do not want them and i have taken it before and it's made me itch real bad for one 
which is a common side effect, but it also made me pass out several times like in a row and I didn't know where I was and I woke up with like, I was like this with my hands raised and my mom's like, what the heck is wrong with you? And it was because of morphine. And I don't want, I don't want to feel that way. I don't want to black out and not know where I am and, or what's going on and like do things without my knowledge. Cause I was like moving around and talking without my knowledge. So I don't want to feel like that. And that's not, those medicines are not necessary. I know a lot of people think that they, they are, and they help you, but I have studied these things and I know that it, it makes it worse, especially over time, it makes it worse. Most pain is alleviated with ibuprofen, and I don't want to make, especially my child, need more pain medicine than what she requires. So, uh, the stuff's not good, I don't like it. Some people, they need it because they do have severe pain, and that's okay, but something like this, I don't think it's required. So she's doing just fine. Yeah, yeah. She's right had to use a bathroom. You doing good? Yeah. Daddy takes okay. her to the bathroom. Because I have uh, EDS, I can't pick her up, so. Are you gonna eat? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I went to eat. I made you some more juice. That was the end of the juice. That's the last one. Is that for her or Both of them, they can share it. Right. Raphael! Yeah. Woohoo! Let's go, we got food. Kitty sitting in her chair. Actually, that's where I like eat. Yeah, that's where you used to eat, but now you can get up in the chair by yourself. Your the Please bar wash stool. Your hands. <laughs> Denied. Huh? Is that him? Yes. <laughs> it's his favorite food. Does your cat question you with her tail? With a question mark? Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, got grapes, watching Emily, Elizabeth, and Clifford the Big Red Dog. Yep, Raphael is playing what? Yeah. Minecraft. It's mine. Minecraft. That's what yeah, because you got to mine for stuff, I guess. Oh no. Pickaxes are very rare. They are. Yes. Okay. And the, even if they're rare, they can still break. Uh oh. I'm creative. Let me show you. On creative, you press C. You want to stream on and Twitch? You press a so everybody can watch you. Oh yeah, I want everybody to watch me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I'm taking a break, and uh, Abigail's gonna finish her grapes up. I, I had to pick the grapes so that I could remove them from the fridge because there's literally no room. I have some awesome containers. I didn't realize how much they hold, but it held like half of a ham. And it's just like that tall and that wide and like double long. But it's a Rubbermaid and it's uh, completely spill proof because it has rubber seal around it and it's see-through so you can see it. However, it's not glass. I do like Pyrex because of the glass. No thank you, I don't eat grapes. Okay. I like them, they make me sick. Fruit makes me sick, like, I don't know. Especially watermelon. I love watermelon, but it makes me I sick when I eat it. it. Um, so anyway, I'm grapes? washing clothes. Love grapes. Yeah. And I took out the lint trap and I went way deep into it. And there is so much stuff in there. I filled up the vacuum cleaner. And I need to get one of those brushes, probably from um, Dollar Tree. Get one of those brushes to go down into the thing so it can collect all of the gross dirt and stuff and the stuff that got past the lint trap. I don't know how it got past there, but it did. Big pieces. And I used some Lime Away that I got from the Dollar Tree, actual brand name Lime Away, for a dollar. And so far I've spent 50 cents of it cleaning the toilet and cleaning the shower. But let me show you the shower. I also got this at Dollar Tree to water my hanging plants because I don't want them to die because I'm bad at watering. So I got this to water my plants. It was a dollar. It's on the bottom shelf in the plant section. There's like a five foot section for plants and garden. Let me show you. I did one side so you could see um, how clean I got it. Okay, I forget the noise. I am washing clothes right now. 
So this, I have to actually wipe it off with this because I don't have a sprayer on this um, shower. But you can see, this is like crystal clear glass. I'm sure there's still some that is left, but look, that's crystal clear. And then let me take this towel down. You can see here, you cannot see through it. That's all the soap scum. So you can see through this and you can't see through that. It's amazing. Look, that's supposed to be clear glass right there. And then it's clear over here, but I have to uh, rinse it off. But you can see the amazing difference just even before I rinse it off. It's crazy. And I also cleaned the toilet and the toilet came clean, real clean. I've just been having an issue with the toilet because the water is so, um, calciumed up here so I, I have been having trouble with like the shower doors and the toilet having like calcium on it and it's hard to get off I ordered some um, what is that called some uh, citric acid and that I mean that's what a lot of Israelis clean with it's a natural normal thing over there to clean with citric acid because their water is so heavy and it's desalinated from the ocean. So it gets very, like if you pour water in a glass and you let it sit, you'll see calcium around the ring of it. It's crazy, it's very calcium filled. Um, the only thing that stops that from happening is if you get a whole house filter, which I would love to have, and one day maybe we will, but yeah, we definitely need a whole house filter. This is what I use, Lime Away, $1. Hello. Real happy about that purchase. I'm gonna go and buy probably like five more so I can keep doing this every week. Just spray a little and wipe it down before I get out of the shower and keep it clean, uh, keep it sparkling. Hey guys, so I just got done with a cleaning video. I have to go through these boxes to make sure who goes to what when they open it. Abigail and Raphael. It's gonna be a very fun video for them. Uh, I wanted to show you what I got at Aldi's. It is a special buy. $1.65, which I'm sure it used to be much higher than this because of cauliflower chips. Cauliflower tortilla chips. They're very good. I got the nacho cheese flavor. They do leave a burnt taste in your mouth at the end of it, but if you keep eating it, they taste great. I got three bags. I've already eaten a whole bag of these chips. You know what? I never looked at the ingredients. Yeah, I did. Uh, it's got cassava, cauliflower, chia, uh, onion, is beets, garlic, I mean, just flavorings. But it does taste, it tastes a bit like a rutabaga at the end. You know how, sorry guys, my battery died. Do you know how when you eat a rutabaga at the end of it, it tastes like, um, like it's burnt maybe a little bit. That's what this tastes like, except it's cauliflower and cassava. They're very good. The crispness of it, you can see the flax seed on top and they look just like this. I'm going to sit down and relax with some chips and watch. <laughs> Sorry. Second dead battery. Okay. I'm going to show you what I'm watching. It is a good show. I like seeing how rich they are and uh, their interior design and stuff. I don't like how they are kind of, while being proud of their race, they're kind of racist against white people. But I'm enjoying the show. And that's all I have to say about that. So I'm going to eat my chips and watch the ending. I think I'm on the very last season one, episode six. I think that's the very last episode. If not, there's like not very many episodes after that. I actually fell asleep and went through the entire series, so I have to go back and rewatch the last couple. You want to say goodnight? Goodnight! Goodnight! And I, and I also was eating these chips when it was night. She got into the chips. I left the bag of chips out, and she got some. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Did they you, are good. Did you, weave, did you weave it this for me? Sure. When I... When I get hungry? Yeah, I left it just for you when you get hungry. Also me. Are you going to have a slumber party again today? Tonight? Slumber party. Uh, slumber party is when you hang out with your friends and you go to sleep. Like on the couch or on the floor oh, together. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were all right sprawled now, out here. I right know I'm doing that. Are you? 
Yes. Yeah. Except for Daddy. Yeah. That's well, right. Daddy would have, but it was like 4 a.m. when he went to sleep. Can I so. hang out with you eating you? chips? Yeah. You want to eat some chips? This chips. Okay. You want to tell everybody good night? Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, good night. let's say it together. Three, two, one. Good night. Good night. You too, mommy. Good night. Three, three two, one. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> night, John boy. Good night, John <laughs> Good night, John boy. Good night, John so Good night. Who are you? A mini mouse. Raphael, who are you? Dinosaur. Oh, you're dinosaur. Yeah. Dinosaur. We've had this baby for quite a while. Haven't had to use it this much though. We're leaving the bags outside for several days. We have a station, here's the dirty stuff, and there's the clean stuff.